So we're going to strap this little air tag to my TP3. Uh, and we're going to see whether or not if I crash and lose this, and I'm deliberately going to do that, deliberately going to crash it, deliberately going to lose it to see if this air tag can find it. All right, how much does an air tag weigh? 12 grams, pretty heavy little things. Um, let's get it on the quad. We might have to be flying the TP3 on 3S as opposed to 2S. Okay, we've gone with a janky setup. Um, the jank is real on this one. So basically, I have some electrical tape. I have it under the rubber band and the electrical tape goes over the top, the front, over the back, and hopefully that's enough to keep this little air tag on when I crash. Okay, so we're down here at my usual flying field and um, as you can probably see, there's some dark rain clouds overhead and that's the direction we're going to send it. So we're going to send it out over there and hopefully air tags will find it for us. Time to get set up. Alrighty. And we're off and away. Here we go. Oh shit. And we're gone. Okay. <laughs> well, that was it. It wasn't too big or flashy. We just Flew out probably about 500 meters, far enough to not be in reach of the air tags and in a shitty spot in the bush. Now it's time to go find it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do Okay, we've got screen recording turned on. I'm gonna go into the Find My app. And where's the toothpick. Well, according to whoops. well, according to the Find My app, the toothpick's with me. But I'm going to notify when found. I'm going to, yep, we're going to enable lost mode or pop in my phone number. Next, we're going to activate lost mode. And time to go and find it in the bush. So, it's still saying it's with me. Now, I've got my TX turned on, my transmitter. So, that will let us know when we're close. And, time to go down the bush track. Welcome to the Australian urban bush. So probably a good time now to, oh, we're going to turn on find mode, searching for a signal, no, nowhere near, nowhere near the signal. So a couple of things with so a couple of things with air tags. Firstly, the way they work is about using the Apple Find My Network, which is basically a low power radio signal. I think it's Bluetooth being admitted from the AirTag and being picked up by other Apple devices. 
um, anonymously and then updating the Find My Network, which when you've got it registered, you can go back and check it. Now, is it going to be able to find a lost drone? Well, this is the question we're certainly trying to ask. But the way we're going to go about finding it is we absolutely can't purely rely on air tags to go and find it ourselves. Now, this quad, my little TP3, it doesn't have, I've got to watch where I'm going because this is quite a rocky path, it doesn't have a GPS. So ideally, if you've got GPS on a quad, you would record the DVR, you'd have the coordinates, where you fail safe, you can punch those into your phone, and then lo and behold, you're a ballpark of where it is. Hopefully you've got a buzzer, if not, you're going to be using D-Shot Beacon, but that's only going to work just as long as the quad has battery. So if you've sent it, and we're not talking, you know, 500, maybe a kilometre, I don't know, I'll measure that when I get home, but a good 500 metres away. If you've sent it, talking several kilometres, chances are by the time you get to your quad, the LiPo would have died, um, especially with the VTX and everything, and even with the motors going D-Shot. So ideally you'd want to have a buzzer with an external battery, like the Firefly V2, it's a really good one um, if you're trying to do long range, but long range pilots, you already know this. Um, freestyle pilots and park rippers, if you've got space in your build, probably handy to pop in a Firefly V2. Now, as you can see, pretty bushy. The other thing is, we're using our DVR to figure out whereabouts we landed. So I, I know this park pretty well, having lost a few quads here before and had to go trudging around the bush and trying to use my ears to find where, where it is. But, you know, have taken ages to find them. So we're hoping that this is going to help. Um, Oh, we're now in Apple Maps. No, we want to be in Find My. So according to Find My, the baby tooth is still last where my phone was when it had reception, i.e. when I took off and flew. That was the last time it pinged. So it really hasn't been updated. And on the map, we're well and truly into the bush. Um, so you use your DVR to find the general proximity of the area where you crashed or fail safed and then from there the hope is you'd hear the buzzer and you'd go towards it. Um, the air tag at 15 grams, pretty big and heavy for what, for what it is for a quads purpose. You could probably do it on a 5 inch. Oh, here's some fun. I have to navigate this. So you probably put that on a 5 inch, and by the way the radio still hasn't picked up any signal yet. And um, from there you'd probably be able to find it. I wonder if we can decase the air tag and it would still work. Build a TPU uh, cover for it. Might have to bleep that out. Uh, okay. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry recovered. So that's positive. We're in. We're in the ballpark. We're in the ballpark. So, this is the case. Um. Items. Directions, no, lost mode, enabled. Let's turn off lost mode. We're in the right spot. Let's click on that. Um,
play sound. Telemetry lost. Telemetry lost, okay, so it's bad. Telemetry recovered. So we're in the vicinity. Telemetry um, lost. Now Apple still says yeah, so Apple still says we're well and truly away from it. So if I click on that, it's still thinking it's back where it was. Um, enable loss mode again. Yep. Activate. Play sound. So we're heading, you know, we're in the vicinity. But like, how close are we? Mind you, I'm just aimlessly walking on this. Oh, it's going to be great for the car. Um, aimlessly walking on this track. Now, I did purposely choose to fly over and generally in the direction of a walking track because I figured there'd have to be some walk to go and find it. And as you can see, the scrub is pretty thick. So, air tag not reachable. So, still not reachable. Now I know I didn't get further than this. Ooh, what's that? Now, it says my TP3 is now with me, but I heard the beeper, which is the D-Shot beacon, before. And if I hit find, it says five meters. So, okay, to my right, it's five meters ahead. Oh, I think we see it. And, Oh, fuck. Great. We have oh, rescued the quad. Of course, the battery came off in the crash. We have rescued the quad.